Okay. Last week, we went to Patrick Henry's plantation. We did a short ghost hunt of it, and today, if you haven't seen it, I suggest you check it out. And uh, there's two different versions. They may look similar, but they're definitely different. Anyway, we're heading down to the cemetery from uh, the 18th century, and uh, it's a long time forgotten about it. They recently logged this and, and put a cell phone tower right on top of it, which might contribute for us t to the benefit and uh hope you enjoy it's gonna be wild man. i was like 15 years old when i come out here man it's awesome it was scary at one o'clock in the morning Trust me. Here we are at the cemetery. We're about ready to ghost hunt. It's 18th century, 19th century, 20th century, and it's small, but it's old and you would be surprised at the number of people here that died in their 20s. I mean, it must have been rough back then because, you know, polio, TB, measles, smallpox. It'd just wipe you out. I mean, they didn't have cures for it and they'd all die young. It's incredible how they're all in their 20s or not even 20. And on top of that, if you take a look at all the graveyard, uh, all the graves, they're all pointing east within Christian tradition so that when Christ comes back, they'll be able to see him. All right, we're about to get this on. Okay, we got about 30 minutes until total darkness and we have made some adjustments to the trees for safety purposes, and uh, you kind of you kind of get this creepy feeling. There's there's some kind of presence here or something. Just like the dark it got last time, you know. But anyway, Scott. Yeah, man. Scott. What what does it feel like to you right now? I can actually feel spirits. I mean, I can feel them around me. Presence of something just evil, man. It's gonna be wild as soon as it gets pitch black out here, and I can honestly say I'm scared to death. Okay, the fun ain't even started yet, and Scott's camp just now went haywire. Battery's completely dead. He just bought the batteries last weekend on our first hunt, and that's odd. Very, very odd. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> we can, we've got a visual of a light in the woods. Well, I don't think it's paranormal or supernatural. I think it's some kind of man-made light. So we're going to bolt up out of here and let them have it tonight. Yeah, I see it. Man. That's bright. Peace. You see it, though? Just so you know I ain't fooling. Yeah, plain as day. Okay, we 
Scott was brave enough to suggest that we go down there and check out where the light was coming from. And what what it is is uh, the cell tower that I was telling you about earlier at the beginning of the video. They have a floodlight on it. So it's all good. We're, we're going to stay for a while. Okay, we, we are still outside of the graveyard. We haven't attempted to go back in, but it, it's just about time to bust the move. It's like a temperature just dropped. Totally, like 20 degrees, 30 degrees. Yeah, it just got real cold all of a sudden. We're really starting to hear all kinds of weird sounds. Okay. Okay, what what we're doing here is we're breaking the candle back out because we need all the leverage we can get and in uh some cultures a candle is the only thing that both spirits and humans alike can see. So we're going to light this and try to draw them on in. Maybe they'll chat with us. We'll see. All right. Let's give them a little time and we'll cut the equipment on and we're there. We lit the candle and we, we just now, Scott called him out. And uh, I just set a motion sensor alarm, and we're gonna get the EVP out and start asking some questions. Going to do our first EVP record. Are you glad we came here? Are you glad we came here? EVP number two. Can you play any music out here? We're starting to hear sounds all around us, and uh, I don't know what the hell it is. I don't even know what EVP it is anymore, but we just now got a small flip out. I heard something that sounded like chains coming from my left. 